So you just bought a new pair of skis, really nice snowboard, and you're super stoked to finally you know, use it out on the mountain to start shredding some of that pow. Unfortunately, the latest and raddest gear out there is also going to attract some unwanted attention whenever it's left unsupervised. Um, and while you can do things like position your equipment within line of sight while you're on break, um, separating your skis onto different racks, putting them in an area that may attract attention if someone tries to walk off with it, um, there's just a much easier solution that I think a lot of people overlook or just disregard. And that's one of these little ski locks here. Um, these ski locks are a great and relatively inexpensive way to improve the security of your pricey equipment, um, to improve your peace of mind on the mountain, and while not super common, equipment theft does happen. And when it does, you know, it, it can be financially impactful for a lot of people and just just down straight a bummer, you know, it, it's just something that brings you down. So um, fairly easy to prevent or at least prevent most occurrences. Um, for around $15, you get the ski lock, fits into a jacket pocket super easily. Um, can be installed in seconds. I carry one with me at all times. I always lock up my skis when they're unattended. I highly recommend it, even if you're renting, because it can also help prevent any potential rental confusion, where if someone walks off with your equipment, um, maybe by mistake, because they're also renting and, and they think it's theirs or just gets uh, misplaced, you're not left having to pay to replace it. You know, This can kind of limit the amount that's gonna occur as well. Um, so at the end of the day, for $15, this is some of the cheapest peace of mind you can buy, um, and I'd highly recommend it. All right, so here's a quick video just showing how easy it is to put on and take off one of these ski locks. What I'm going to do is walk up with the ski lock in my hand, pull the cable out, wrap it around the ski rack, sometimes through the ski rack just for extra security, uh, pull out the slack, just press the button and let the slack get sucked out. Um, and once the slack is sucked out, you pop the uh, end of the cable into the lock, spin the code, uh, and the, the lock is good to go. You can just walk right off and your skis should be secure. To remove it, you just walk up. <laughs> Don't knock off the uh, neighboring snowboard. Maybe help them out there. Um, but yeah, you just walk up and you put your code back in. Push the right button. The cable will pop out and you'll just let the cable retract into the lock. Put it in your pocket and you're good to go about your day. Um, I mean, it's really that simple. So um, again, can't recommend it enough. Doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, and it gives me quite a bit of peace of mind whenever I don't have the skis in my line of sight, so. All right, so how does this little guy work? Um, pretty simple, actually. There's a left button, a right button, the cable, and then a three-digit code. Um, to pull the cable out, you'd press the left button, and you can pull the cable out right here. Um, there is quite a bit of cable in here, so I believe about two feet for this lock here. Um, you can pull it out, and then once you have what you need, you can let it go and it will stay out. If you need to suck some back in, you just press it. It actually retracts itself, um, and if you let the button go, it will stay out at that length. Uh, but get it how much you need out. If you need it to suck back in some to make sure it's tight, uh, do that. Don't leave any slack in it, um, and then get it locked in. Um, now once it's snapped in there, it's not actually locked, press this button, it pops out. As long as this code is the passcode, it will just pop right back out. Um, so you get what you need, pop it in here, and then you change the code. And once you change it, then at that point, it is locked. To unlock it, of course, put it back on the code, press the button, it pops open, and then you can retract it, uh, and then you're back and you're good to go. Just put it in your pocket and off on your way, you go down the mountain. Um, to change the code, also pretty easy. Push this guy in here. We'll change the code to 123. Uh, pull this guy back out. Code is now 123. So if I pull it out, plug it in, and pop it straight back out, change it back to our old code of 012, and it is now locked. It will not work because we changed the code. So back to 123. Push the button. Out it pops. Retract it back into the lock. And then into your pocket it goes, and you are good to go. Um, again, super, super easy to use, not intrusive on your day. It takes a couple seconds to put it on, a couple seconds to take it off. Very inexpensive, like 15 bucks. Um, the kind didn't send me this lock. They don't pay me anything. It's just the one that I was able to buy at REI. There's probably other brands out there as well. I'm not recommending any specific brand right now. Uh, this is just the one I use, and it, and it works well for me, and I'm sure the others work fine. They also offer a larger version of this. 
that has a slightly longer cable and a fourth passcode digit. Um, I think that's targeted more towards snowboarders. Uh, they usually have a bigger board to deal with and may need that longer cable. Um, but pretty much the exact same mechanism and the exact same functionality, just a little bit different body. Um, still recommend it. Um, and I know that these cables are fairly thin. Uh, a lot of people might be concerned, oh, someone could just, you know, cut that. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's just about preventing opportunities, uh, you know, crimes of opportunity. It, just by having this on there, it just prevents people from being able to just walk up, walk off with your skis. You know, it creates this added thing. Most people don't carry wire cutters in their pocket on the mountain. So um, nine times out of 10, I'd say 90 times out, 99 times out of 100, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, put this on, uh, go about your break, about your lunch, come back, equipment's still there. Um, you know, weren't worried about it the whole time and now you're off on your day and, and it just makes things easier. Um, again, highly recommend. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, uh, subscribe for more content gear reviews, adventure guides, and uh, anything else that we may be putting out. Um, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. Thanks. Have a great day.